In these videos, I will take a look at some of the comments that you, the viewer, have shared with me. Some of these comments may be posted on my YouTube channel. Some of them may not be, depending upon their content. I use this as an opportunity to answer questions, address criticisms, and acknowledge criticisms, of course, and direct the conversation, keep it going in the manner of which this YouTube channel is intended, meaning it is a grammar channel. This is a channel to talk about correct sentence structure, communication, parsi, syntax, grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public by Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. And so that's the main purpose of this channel. So if you see a comment in this comments video that has not been posted on my channel, I'm probably using it as an example as to what not to post in the comments field. This is definitely a learning place, a place for learning where I teach not only the grammar, but also the psychology of the grammar. One other thing, I don't ever take anything personal. It's never personal. Although it may seem like it is at times, it's not, it's not at all. And I highly recommend everyone out there commenting, follow the same protocol. Don't take anything personal that I say. What you put in is what you get out. The energy that you bring here, I will most likely either give back to you, maybe a little bit, or maybe a thousandfold. It just depends upon how you approach me. This is my vessel. There are terms and conditions. If you comply with them, everything's peachy. If you don't, well, you get what you get. You don't throw a fit. Without further ado, let's get to the comments. Let's get this Christmas edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewer's Comments rolling. I have my Christmas coffee. There may or may not be Bailey's Irish cream in it. This actually was a Christmas gift from my lovely niece, Olivia. This cup. She made it. On to the comments. Um, these comments come from another one of my best students, Di Cameron. And uh, he says, great news about Rockfin. And the reason why I posted that comment is because uh, in the video that Di is commenting on, which he is a member, and thank you very much for your membership. I appreciate that. In that member's exclusive video, I mentioned that I'm looking at a platform named Rockfin, where I'm weighing my options as far as YouTube goes. Uh, YouTube isn't really performing to the rule one, rule equal uh, maintenance that my feeling is that it should. So therefore, I'm looking at other options and looking at leaving YouTube as an active content creator and moving over someplace like to Rockfin, where I would be posting all my exclusive content. And if you wanted to see that content over there, then, of course, you would participate with Rule 1, Rule Equal Maintenance and participate with it and have access to it. But that's not finalized yet. I haven't quite made any concrete decisions on that. I still have to be contacted by Rockfin and work all that stuff out. And then uh, Dai says, my motto, work hard and be kind, which is in reference to the Happy Holidays video message that I posted or I went into a little bit of a dissertation about kindness and definitely stand by that. Um, I think what, what did one individual say to me once a long time ago when I was younger, they said, don't work harder, work smarter, which sort of alludes to or implies a bit of laziness that somehow intelligent or smart people are lazy in comparison to those who work hard, but that's not the case at all. Uh, you, there's a lot of things that go into that, like motivation, tenacity, um, you know, intestinal fortitude, things like that. Cojones, you know, things like that. Uh, 
you have to want to do it and work hard. And again, to bring, you know, about the kindness thing, and when I mentioned Gurdjieff in the other video, another thing that Gurdjieff said was that you can create immeasurable, and this is a paraphrase, immeasurable value for yourself when you learn to do something well, like to do something very good that you're not interested in, that you don't really have an affinity for that you don't really like. And if you can do something like that and do it well and do it almost just as good as someone who is passionate about it or who does like to do it, then you have achieved a measure of stewardship over your life that is unparalleled with anyone else. And it all comes down to having an, ob an objective position with regards to yourself and how you navigate. And I, of course, uh, try the best I can to do things like that and, uh, Highly recommend that others try it as well. Just do the best you can with what you have in the now space that you have. That's about all you can do, right? Next comment comes from colon sovereign colon entity. And it's a comment on the very first correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar talk show that I published recently. Uh, where my guest was Colin Ricardo, Colin Marseille, who is definitely one of my best students and my most successful student. And they say, great start. Thank you both. Keep it going. And yes, sovereign entity, whomever you may be, we fully intend to do that. And thank you for your comment. Next comment comes from David Miller. And David says, cool cat. And that's in reference to the screenshot here that you see of the little kitty cat. And that kitty cat's name is colon dandy hyphen lion, period. And dandy lion is a foster that we had for a while. And luckily, she was we were able to keep her in the family. So while she is not uh, docked at this domicile location, she is indeed at another domicile location close to us, and she's still with the family. Next comment comes from Nathaniel. And Nathaniel is yet another one of my best students with correct sentence structure. And he's also a member. Thank you very much for your membership. He says, love the direction. I believe that it is a very vital approach and hope it reaches those who want to learn this grammar that it's not a magic bullet, but a way of life. There are no cheat codes. Couldn't have said it better myself, my friend. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas, Nathaniel. Many blessings to you and your family. One of, I have to say this. One of the things that I've been blessed with or, or, or one of the blessings that have been bestowed upon me by the cosmos is that I've, via teaching correct sentence structure to uh, honorable and graceful people like Nathaniel and Ricardo and, you know, count multiple other people, is that I develop not only a trust count with them, but also friendships with them and brotherhood with them. Um, and I do count Nathaniel as uh, a good friend. Next comment comes from J.A. Richardson. And they say, gratitude, love the share of the testimony of the success. Small suggestion about the title continuum. I feel that's a misspelling there. Conversations. So the message that you are trying to convey to the public is recognized within the title. So the message that you are trying to convey to the public is recognized within the title. That's definitely opinion there, J.A., on your part. So you're telling me that that is your opinion of what you think I'm trying to do. Is recognized with the title. Try to use something that indicates success stories of the quantum grammar within the title. That way the continuum is recognized and understood as evidence of the success of the quantum grammar within the testimony of the interviewee. 
Here's the thing, J.A., is that that is not the point of that. What you're commenting on, the video you're commenting on is my quantum grammar talk show. The word continuum has nothing to do with success or non-success of quantum grammar. Nothing to do with it at all. Um, I did give you Kuliana to this comment, and I did share my correct sentence structure closure on what the continuum is. And in brief, I'll just say, you know, in the fiction, we use the word time to talk about something we keep or whatever. Fiction concept. And then when you come over to quantum grammar or correct sentence structure, we start using words like now space. Well, I have found through my study and research and performances that now is a non-tangible contract, no contract word, as far as I'm concerned. So while I still use that because that's the common term to use with relation to how it's applied to correct sentence structure, I have since moved on and in my own correct sentence structure contracts, I don't use the word now space. I use continuum because the continuum, I don't know if it began or if it ends. I just know that it continues. So it's a continuum. That's all it is. It's a neutral condition of state. has nothing to do with success or non-success. So um, although I don't know for sure, of course, and I don't want to make any assumptions, but I can guess that J.A. Uh, came into this video with some preconceived notions, some assumption, presumption about what was going on and what I was trying to do with the video. And... Uh, perhaps we're a little bit off base with that. Disclaimer, please disregard all the particles and negation and incorrect use of grammar within my message. Try to understand the message and volition rather than the technicalities in there. Of course, I mean, your your comment is in brackets, so right off the bat, I already know what's up. But for those who don't, that's what's up. Thank you for the comment, J.A., and uh, for the, thank you for the thoughtful comment and i hope i've given you a little bit more clarity and closure on uh what was going on with that video and the volition behind the talk show it's not a talk show just to talk about successes and things like that that's a small part of it next comments uh come the first one on this page comes from jason and he says, thank you both for sharing this great conversation. I find this format much easier to follow, and I hope to tune into many more. And then Fast Eddie, good old Fast Eddie, what's up? Says, awesome, with the standard thumbs up that Fast Eddie always throws on there. Appreciate that, Fast Eddie. Also, Jason, I appreciate your membership. Thank you very much for that membership and for maintaining that membership. And of course, these comments are on the uh, first edition of the talk show, the Quantum Grammar talk show that I did, where Ricardo was my guest. And I have gotten so much great feedback from this show. And it goes to show, you know, when I do grammar videos with like hardcore grammar mechanics, there's not many comments on them. And the views are... Ooh, but when I do a show like this and I have a guest on and they tell stories, man, the views go through the roof and people love that stuff. And I think that's just indicative of the fiction, fiction system, the way we've been programmed. We want to hear stories like that uh, because I think that people, and this is a guess on my part, I think that people come into it with a preconditioned state of mind that they want to be convinced of something before they invest in it. They want to um, be assured, probably by people they don't even know, like me or Ricardo, that, yeah, this stuff's going to work for you if you learn it. You know, go ahead and learn it because it's going to work 100% for you. You know, there are no such assur assurances about this. There are none, and I'm not going to give you any. What I can give you is the surety that if you invest your now space, your continuum, energy, sweat, equity into this, and you learn the grammar, that you will be 100% successful with it after you get closure on it if you so decide to go use it. That I can say. I can give you that surety. 
But it's the getting there to that closure that's the thing. Because what you put in is what you get out. And if you're always dancing around the outside fringe of it and never really stepping your toe in it, well, you're not really going to get anywhere, are you? Next comment comes from David Lee Williams. And they say with brackets and quotations, colon, title, tilde, 18, colon, space, U-S-C-S, tilde, 1001, space, ampersand, tilde, 1002, colon, space, fictional hyphen communications. I, I, and now I'm going to do a little bit of an audit here because of the way they wrote this comment. First of all, they've used brackets, which falls under the four-corner rule and takes it off the page. And they use quotations, which doubly so takes it off the page. And then they write with colons and hyphens, meaning I'm guessing that their volition was to try to write correct sentence structure, but yet they put it in brackets and the correct sentence structure, if we were just to take the correct sentence structure in and of itself, is not correct. Because with title tilde 18, you would have to have a title hyphen tilde 18. Because that's a compound fact. If that's what you're trying to convey, if you're trying to convey, if your volition is to convey a correct sentence structure translation of the fiction babble, that's what you have to do. And then the colon space. USCS, what is that? That is not a correct abbreviation. If your volition, David, was to write an abbreviation, that is not correct. In order for that to be a correct abbreviation, it would have to be U period hyphen S period hyphen C period hyphen S period hyphen tilde 1001 space ampersand. Then, if you so choose, you could put a colon after the and space tilde 1002, colon, space, and here's another glaring uh, error in the sentence. There are only two position, sorry, two position loading effect phrases in front of a verb, so there would necessarily have to be a verb after 1002, and then continuing on with the sentence, because titles would only have two position loading effect phrases. If you're going to go beyond that, you have to put a verb in it. Otherwise, the mathematical interface does not work. In any case, uh, he put in a colon space and then fictional hyphen communications. And then, even though it's in brackets and quotations, did not bring it to a full stop. So, uh, all of that aside, I did... Uh, offer some kuleana to David, and I said, have you translated that title into correct sentence structure and successfully used it yourself, David? And I would have to reasonably guess that David has not. Thank you for the comment, David. Keep coming back. Next comment comes from member Jens. Thank you very much for your membership, Jens. And Man, we're on a roll here because Jens is another one of my best students. Um, Jens actually was a very, very fast learner. Kudos to him for the hard work he's put in. And he says, the best at the end. Thanks a lot for this inspiration to have a look for the term kind in German language, which means nothing less than child. Let us then think of family. Interesting to know that the kind is treated fiction one by the administration, but not boy or girl. Happy holiday and many thanks. Happy holidays, Jens, and many thanks to you both for your membership and uh, for all your hard work and studying that I know that you put in. What you put in is what you get out, and I can reasonably guess and foresee that uh, many great successes will definitely be coming your way. Next comment comes from Year E Gods 8 LLC. 
and it's a comment made on the how do I create a correct live life claim video the mini class that I did and they say thank you for the video but I am mad that I even got to do dumb ish like this just to get what is already owed to me and I did offer Kuliana to this individual, but they did not uh, author, offer any further clarity or anything. So that's why I'm going to talk about it here. For one thing, it's my experience that it's never beneficial or a good idea to get mad about anything to do with the fiction system. Because if the fiction system can cause or generate an emotional reaction in you, then they have pinpointed a weakness on your part and will definitely exploit that. So I'd highly recommend being a steward of your breathing. And while it's okay to feel those types of emotions, I would never say to anybody to repress them or anything like that. Um, I would highly recommend not becoming a slave to that emotion or to allow it to affect your performances in any way or color modify your performances in any way. Just like I would highly recommend not permitting fear to color or modify your decisions, choices, and performances. Same thing with anger. Okay, but to move on, they say that I even got to do dumb-ish like this. And again... I'm not sure. I think this may be this person's first comment on my channel. There is a box that comes up when you comment with the terms and conditions of the comments field. And one of the terms and conditions of the comments field is no profanity, no cuss words, no filthy, what is construed in common lingo as profanity. I mean, it's just a very simple thing to do. And yet... People like this just think that they can just come on and talk however they want to. It'd be like someone walking into your house and you have children and they just start dropping, you know, language like that in front of children. They have no consideration for the consideration or honor or respect for the vessel that they're on board. And that tells me a lot psychologically about how they navigate as an individual. Number one, that they didn't read the terms and conditions or pay heed to them. Or number two, they just don't care. They don't give an ish. Just to get what is already owed to me. I've come across this a lot in the common law, UCC code uh, sector of the conspiratorial domain, where some people just feel like the fiction system in general, owes them something, like the, like a sense, certain sense of entitlement, which I have never personally ever felt anything like that. Like when someone once told me that, oh, Jason, you know, your birth certificate is your, your birth weight is in gold at the Vatican, you know, the Vatican has, has your, you know, birth certificate, your weight in gold in the Vatican, it's yours, you, you shouldn't, you know, you don't have to pay for electricity or water or gas or food or nothing. It's all already paid for through your birth certificate, dude. You just got to claim it, dude. Here's the thing. The birth certificate is not mine. I didn't create that contract. I didn't authorize that contract. I didn't, with my own knowledge, put my thumbprint on it. I certainly didn't autograph it. And that's not my name on that birth certificate. So I have nothing to do with that or anything it's connected to. I didn't create that wealth if there is wealth attached to it. I didn't create that. I have nothing to do with it. So I don't want it. Keep it. Don't care. I don't walk around thinking that anyone owes me anything. There is no sense of entitlement here. And year God's 8 LLC um, would definitely... I think, come to those same conclusions if they would actually uh, decide to get serious and study this grammar. Thanks for the comment, your gods, S8 LLC. Next comment comes from Victor Thomas. 
and it's a comment on the very short Karen video that I did. And he says, good point. I love people that I live for aha moments. I love people that live for aha moments. Heads up, wake up. And those WTF moments, you want to avoid being surprised by. But Cog says otherwise. Thanks. But Cog says otherwise. Thanks. I'm not sure what Victor means by Cog. But I'm going to construe this as a positive message. And so I will thank Victor Thomas for their comment. Thank you, Victor. Final comment comes from J.A. Richardson. And they say, wow, LOL. Your time is worth so much more than commenting on some of these comments. But still, they can be funny. Thank you for the closure and for the laughs. Well, thank you for the comment, J.A. Um, and thank you for your, I guess, your perception or assumption of what my time is worth. Uh, being that there is no such thing as time, we can put that aside. Um, but I am flattered and grateful that you think uh, my time is worth so much more than that. Um and I'm glad that you think it's funny because some of this is, is intended to be humorous as well as uh, teaching opportunities to teach the psychology of this grammar and basically how to navigate. A big part of these comments videos is trying to show people how not only I offer Kuliana back to even negative comments, criticisms of me, not only of how I do things, or even what I look like, like in the last, like in this video right here, the uh, Clarity Closure to the Viewers Comments 15. <laughs> I posted comments of people actually insulting my physical appearance and had a laugh about it, you know, because I don't take anything personally. I don't run my life based upon what other people think of me, of what I look like, or, or how I perform, or how I act, or anything. I don't run my life like that. It's not something that has any impact on me. Uh, what I like to do is use the correct sentence structure lens and view the facts, the facts of the matter. Get down to the bottom of it, the meat of the matter, where the bullet hits the bone, the rubber hits the road. Bottom line. You know, I will say with my own personal perception, a lot of people find that uh, perhaps I'm in, I'm abrasive or they're intimidated by me because of the way that I, I correspond back to things. I'm never mean. I'm just, by my own perception, I don't think so. Of course, I'm not one to say whether I'm mean or not. I can't really logically say that because I'm me. I'm not you. I don't know how you perceive what I do. My volition is not to be mean, however. My volition is to be straightforward, to the point, and blunt, and also my volition in doing that is not to harm anyone. Um, but again, I can't really, I don't have a control over how you receive what I'm putting out there. That's your thing. Your mental condition state determines how you take what it is that I'm saying. And if I'm saying something about you or your comment or what you've put out there and you take it personal, that's your thing. Uh, I highly recommend not taking it personal, though. I highly recommend zooming back, looking at the whole thing, and say, what is Jason really saying here? And just think about that in the context of correct sentence structure, because this is a grammar channel. And bottom line, every single, just about every single thing that I say pertains to teaching quantum grammar. That about wraps it up for this edition of For the Clarity and Closure of the viewers' comments. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the tree in this Christmas episode. Hope you enjoyed and maybe perhaps learned something from the Kuleana that I have gifted back to you based upon the energy that you've brought here to my vessel in this Christmas season. 
I don't know if I will be doing one of these next week. Um, I probably might take a little bit of time off. Time off. Um, and then get back at it and figure out what I'm going to do with this channel and everything else in the coming new year. So if I don't, uh, I'm sure I'll put some content out between now and then. But if I don't, I appreciate your viewership, your membership. These 500 videos, as far as I know, will always be here on YouTube for you to study if you choose. If you want to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar in 2023, hit me up at the email address at the bottom of your screen and apply for a correct grammar workshop. And we'll see if this is what you want to do. I'll, I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consult uh, where we'll step up, you and I, we'll step up onto the geometric level playing field of contract communication and figure it out. There are two tiers of membership on the channel. If you choose tier two, there is exclusive content involved with that. Just make sure you read the terms and conditions there uh, before you click join. And other than that, again, I appreciate your viewership. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Thank you very much, and I hope everyone has a blessed remainder of 2022. Thank you.